Leah Michelle, her first solo album, Louder, is out right now. We're going to hear two songs from that in just a bit. But first, we want to welcome you to GMA. Thank you so much. It's great so to have much. you here. It's so nice to be here. And you know, I want to talk about the album, but you know, we all know you've had this, this difficult year. But what's impressed so many of us is you've handled it with such poise, uh, such humanity. And, and I think so many of our viewers want to know, where do you draw the strength from? I'm really very, very, very thankful for all of the amazing people that I have in my life. I mean, I know that that sounds like something that everyone says, but honestly, my friends and my family, um, they've gotten me through this, really, really, really been there for me, and I couldn't, I couldn't have, you know, done it without them. And you've done it, and you're back, and you're strong, and now your first solo album, Louder, <laughs> is out. And I was just telling you, just before we came on, we're getting all kinds of reaction online, a lot of Twitter questions. One of them comes from Dancer Gleek. Okay. <laughs> who says, I feel like louder is like reading your diary. It's personal and passionate. Would you agree? I absolutely would agree. And that's really what I sought out to do when making this record. You know, moving to Los Angeles um, from working on Broadway, I was cast on Glee within just a few weeks. Of the Ryan said, you're perfect. Yeah. No one else could do that. <laughs> and so I really just was introduced to the world as Rachel Berry. Um, so I wanted to take this opportunity in making this record and really letting my fans know who I am. And uh, I think think that music should be personal. Those are the songs that, you know, when Alanis Morissette came out with You Wanna Know, you wanted to know who was she singing about and what was that song about and you felt connected to her. Um, and that's what I wanted to do, you know, just creatively on a music side, but also for my fans. And, and it took a little bit of a detour. It started out a little more of a poppy album mm -hmm. and then became a little more dramatic. Yeah, I mean, over the course of the year and a half that it took me <laughs> to make the record, I was, you know, filming Glee at the same time and cramming this in on weekends. Uh, it took a lot of different shapes and, you know, moods, but I think at the end of the day, it's a pretty good balance. Will we hear something from Louder on Glee? I don't know. I'm not sure. I think that that might be a little confusing <laughs> for people. <laughs> that would be Leah Michelle playing Great, Rachel great. Berry, singing, singing Leah, Leah Michelle. Michelle. So I think that maybe. <laughs> and you got another season, another full season to go before mm -hmm. it, it, it's all done. Can you even imagine the end of it yet? You know, we've been getting asked that question a lot, you know, what are you going to do when it's over and how do you feel about it ending? And it's like, just getting through one episode is like very difficult. So to think about like 33 from now, it's, uh, you know, we have a lot still to do, but I think that that day will be beyond, beyond, beyond emotional. And then in between you have a tour for Louder. Yes. <laughs> We're all across the country? Well, I'm hoping with the little time this summer, I have like four weeks off between season five and season six of Glee. Uh, I really like to, you know, go overseas and thank my fans, you know, worldwide who've been so wonderful. Um, and then, you know, hopefully at some point, maybe when I'm finished with Glee in 2015, you know, get to uh, do a domestic tour and really. So how do you do all this? You're doing all this, you're doing Glee, you're doing an album, you're touring, and now I read you're also going to come out with your first book? Yeah. The screen, Brunette <laughs> Ambition? Brunette Ambition, Tell yeah. Us about it. It's, I'm really proud of it. You know, I, I never really uh, thought of myself as a, a writer, but I felt that I had a lot that I wanted to say for my fans and for um, young girls that, you know, want to hear a little bit about my story. So is that who it's pitched at, young girls? You know, I really think that there's something for everyone. There's recipes in there, lots of stuff on fitness and beauty. Um, but, you know, so many of my fans want to know how I got to where I am today and, you know, sort of the the obstacles that I had to, to cross, you know, to get to where I am. And could you ever dream when you were growing up, and this is coming out as well, you're going to be in Legends of Oz, yes. the voice of Dorothy that yeah. you would be. Dorothy. That is, it's really crazy. The first time I ever said, like, Toto and NEM and, like, there's no place like home, I was like, this is so crazy. When I was a little girl, I thought I was Dorothy. I wore ruby slippers, I think, from, like, four until I was about ten. So this is pretty amazing. It's, it's pretty great. And then one final thing we're all hoping for, and this might be far into the future, we would love to see <laughs> it right across the street over there, Funny Girl. <laughs> on Broadway. That would be pretty amazing. I definitely want to. Um, I, I was so surprised with how much I fell in love with this recording process and making this album. And I definitely want to make another one right away. So, uh, and I also want to tour this record. So once I feel like, you know, I've scratched that itch completely, then, you know, Broadway is we'll definitely where my heart is. And we are going to hear from Louder yes. in just a minute. Lee Michelle, thanks very much.